Hi everybody! Hi, Hello. it's Little Letters and Leeds here again this morning. How are you all out there? I hope you're all having a, had a nice week at home and had plenty of things to keep you busy. So hopefully today we'll have some more things to keep you busy as well. Do you guys want to say hello to everyone? Hello! Hi, so today our class is going to be all about Archie our rainbow. Now here's Archie, I'll bring him in a little bit so you can see him a bit closer. There's Archie. Now I wonder if any of you have got some rainbows on your windows at the moment. I bet some of you have. We've done a nice big Archie rainbow on our window. Okay. So what we're going to do today, first of all, is we're going to practice our Archie rainbow mark. So just the same as last week, if you can grab yourself something to do your marks with, it could be a scarf, it could be a dish cloth, ribbon. it could be a ribbon, whatever you've got hanging around, even a piece of paper would do it. Okay, so anything you've got, quickly go grab something. I'll give you 30 seconds. Have we all got something ready? Are we ready, guys? Okay, so Archie's rainbow marks, they go up and over and back the other way, up and over. And because it's a rainbow, they're made of lots of different colors. So we've been trying really hard to remember our colors of the rainbow, haven't we boys? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna have a go. You can join in with us and we're gonna do our rainbow marks while saying all the different colors of the rainbow. See if we get them right, hopefully we will. Are you ready boys? Okay. Yeah, this side. So we're gonna go red, red orange, orange, yellow, yellow Green, blue, blue indigo, indigo, violet. Did we get them right? Um, you, I hope we did. I, hope, I, th I think we did okay then, didn't I we? Okay, so what we're going to do now is just do some, shall we do some few extra rainbow marks, really fast ones. Are you ready after three? One, One two, three. three, go. Yay. Okay, and maybe some underneath ones as well. Can you make um, underneath rainbow marks that scoop up? And scoop down that, see when your knees a bit as well. Brilliant. Okay, right, let's put those away. And today, we've got a game that we're going to play with you. And it's a game that you can join in with at home. Okay? okay? So, all you need is you, and you need to be ready to run quickly and find things in your house. Okay, we've got a coloured dice here. I don't know if you can see it. I'll show you ours. It's got different coloured stars on it. Okay, now you might not have anything like that. If you haven't, you can make one yourself at home. Just get a normal dice or anything that di is dice shaped. Okay, what shape is a dice? Sorry. Um, it's cube. A cube, yeah. It's anything that's dice shaped. And you could just stick some colours on each face of the dice. But okay. at the moment, we'll, you can just copy. Yeah, for now, for this game, you can use our dice with us. Right, so what happens is, we're going to take turns, we're going to roll the dice, and we're going to shout out the colour, and then you've got to go as quickly as you can and find something that's that colour. Okay? So, Sammy, do you want to go first? Yeah. What did you get, Sammy? Orange. orange. Quick, everybody, go find something orange, quick as you can. Quick as you can. who's going to be first back. Has anybody found something orange? I found one. Sammy's found something. Has Harry found anything orange yeah. today? Here he is. So hold it up, guys. What did you find that was orange? An, or an orange. <laughs> <laughs> an orange, is that Suma? Yeah. And Harry's found, what's that, Harry? I found a Rubik's Cube with uh, orange on. The orange side of the Rubik's Cube. Did you find something at home? Give me a thumbs up if you did. Brilliant. Okay, Harry's turn to throw the dice. Put those things down. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Throw the dice, have it's on the floor, sweetheart. Right, so. Okay, try and get a different colour. Uh, yellow. yellow. Quick, everybody run, go find something yellow. What can you find that's yellow? Who's going to be first back today? I'm just looking at who else is with us today. It looks like Ashton might be here today, who comes through with little learners. Hi, Ashton. I'm trying to see who else is here. Have we got Georgie on today? I think we might do. Okay, what have we got that's yellow, boys? I've got a yellow side of a magnet. A yellow magnet, and Harry's got? Some flowers, some daffodils. Some daffodil flowers. Did you find something yellow, guys? Hopefully, right, pop those ones down. Let's see if we can do one, another colour. Hopefully we can do a different one. Okay, so I mean, is it your turn? Yeah, yes, watch things on the floor. Blue. Blue, blue. go find something blue, quick as you can. 
gun, let's find something blue. What have we got? Oh my goodness, Sammy, what have Sammy found? Blue pads. Sammy's found blue pads. Oh my goodness, they're lovely blue pads. I hope they're clean ones, Sammy. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're clean pads, brilliant. Has Harry got something blue? What have you got, Harry? Blue snake. A blue snake. Let's go take him up, take him up so everybody can see the blue snake. Oh, and the blue pants. So good. Blue Brilliant. Pants. Okay, I think we'll do one more colour. Are you ready for a different colour? Yes. Yeah. One more one to go. More. What colour will we get this time? Oh, we've still got two. Well, we'll just do one more, okay? okay. Green, everybody, run, get green things. Green on the dice. Can you go and find something that's green? Green socks. And he's back with these green things. Okay. Harry back as well. What's Harry found here? Yeah. Go and take them up. Show everybody what you've got. Got a dragon. A green Toy dragon. dragon. Wow. And what have you got, Sammy? Some green socks. Some green socks. Well done, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed playing our game. And I hope it's one that you can play later at home yourselves a little bit more as well. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Just put those socks away now. Mm -hmm. okay. We'll maybe play again a bit later. Okay, now we've got this morning, we've got some more activities now that you will hopefully be able to have a go at later on. Um, with some um, different resources. Some of it's a little bit messy and some of it we've got a bit of a motor skills activity this morning. Okay, so we'll just get set up for that. Harry, do you want to move the um, camera down for us? Okay. Okay. So this first activity, because it's Archie Rainbow today, we do a lot of colour activities when we learn about Archie. So this is more of a motor skills activity that you can develop your motor skills and develop your colour recognition and colour matching skills. Okay, so what we've got here is just a, a baking tray, okay, a bun tray, and we've cut some little coloured circles and put them, just stuck them in the bottom. If you just stick them on with a little bit of glue stick, they come straight off afterwards and you can just give it a rinse off, they won't, they won't stay too long. Okay, so we've got another type there. I haven't put the colours in that one. Okay, if you've got smaller children, you might not need to put the colours in. Right. Now, with, to, to help us with this activity, we've got some of these coloured balls. I'm sure lots of you have got a set of these that are hang around often in the garden. I know I spend ages and ages picking these up with my little. Okay, just put that back for a minute, Sam, please, love. Okay, so we're going to show, just put that down there. We're going to yeah. show you a most skills activity using the coloured balls. Right, and we've got a lot of different tools from the kitchen, some different spoons, scoops, some tweezer tools. I think there's some um, some salad servers that Harry's got there. And the idea is that you use the different tools and you have to try and land them in the right colour tub. So I'm going to let these guys demonstrate it a little right. bit. Oops, have another try, Sam. Okay, so some of them are obviously easier than others. If you've got very young children, they, they could just have this on the floor. We've got it higher up so that you can see it. But have it on the floor, and obviously they can just do it with their hands if you've got really little ones. Okay, oh, getting there. Do you want to let Harry have a go? Let's try this. I hope Harry can land his in. Oh, Harry. He's matched the red with the green. Oh. <laughs> Have you matched the red with the blue? Have another go. All right. All right, okay. Come on, just match the blue. Well done, Harry. You just put that in. <laughs> oh, all right, let's go for a green now. Yay, Yay, green in the green hole. Have you can try a different tool? Yeah, so we've got this one's just a um, scooper. <laughs> scooper. I call it a ladle, yeah, it's a scooper. Again, okay, we've got some we've got the a scoop that's used for sand choy to sand play as well. Yay. Yay! Well done, Sammy into the red. I'm gonna try blue again. Okay, so it's a really simple game. Yay. Right? Now guys, if you just leave it there with the balls, can you get it in, Harry? Yeah, please. Oh, it's just tricky, isn't it? It's tricky. It's tricky. It's tricky. It's like tip, tip, tip. There we go. We've oh, done it. Okay. Now, if if you don't have a set of balls at home, you might be thinking that's a lovely game, but I've got nothing to do that with. We came up with some solutions. We thought. Let me just put it down. Okay. We thought you could make your own balls by screwing up bits of coloured paper. So, Sammy, do you want to have a go with some of the tools? See if you can get. I think that one might be good. See if you can get those in. Let's pick it up a bit. 
like the other side. There we go. And you could be dropping those into the right colour one. Again, it's, hard. it's harder than it looks, isn't it? Yeah. So that was one. We had that idea. If you haven't got balls, and if another one was that you could just get a range of different coloured toys, little toys that you've got hanging around. So here we've got some little cars, duck, um, cups. Yeah, we've got a rubber duck. Wow. Various little coloured things that we've got hanging around. And again, we thought you could easily, with a, with a scoop or even just with your hands, Ooh. you can just be colour matching them into the right sections. Oh, there's no blues left. You can take them out if you want to have. nice game that you can do with different different levels of ability and different yeah. resources today right we'll just move this one out of the way now we're gonna get a little bit messy and now right because we are, we do like a bit of messy play okay when we're trying really hard to think of things that you've got at home that you can use so what we've got today is some on our board here We've got some kitchen roll, okay? It's just kitchen roll. I think ours is left over from Christmas, so it's got snowman themes on, okay? Um, we've stuck it up on here so you can see it, but obviously when you do it at home, this would be a much better activity, just laid flat. I would recommend, it gets a little bit wet, so I would recommend putting a sheet down, an old sheet or a towel on the floor, okay? You can do it just on a normal size tray. Again, the weather's getting better. Get out in the garden and do it, okay? It's a strangely satisfying activity. Just wait for Okay, and um, we've got in some spray bottles. Now I have these ones for my classes, so I've got a nice neat set of four. Okay, you probably won't have these. So what you can do instead is just use any spray bottles, any um, hairspray things or whatever you've got, rinse them out, okay? And you can use them. If you haven't got spray bottles, we have got other, you, you can just use um, doing it as painting instead That's my words there okay so um, all we've got in the bottles is some food coloring mixed with water okay and the idea is that you just have lots of fun because the tissue is absorbent we have lots of fun just spraying them on okay so in a minute sammy's going to demonstrate the spray bottles harry can you get your paints that you've got oh yeah yeah uh, no 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 what are you doing harry no 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 <laughs> okay all right okay Right, Harry, <laughs> go and get your paints, please. Sorry, we've not practised as well this week. You can probably tell we're not quite as professional. We're ad-libbing quite a bit more. Okay, so Sammy, do you want to start your spraying? Okay, and then we can see. It's great, but... Yeah, Harry's messed up. Okay, we'll just, we'll, just, we'll just fix the bottles. Harry, you come round here. Sam, stop spraying. Come here. There you go. You spray there. I'll get the other colours going. Okay, so as you can see, leave two at the side for Harry to do his painting then, won't you? You come in that side, Harry. Okay? Yeah. And it's great fun, and it's good for a bit of colour mixing as well. Can just... Right, when you've finished, when you've soaked the towels, just put some new ones out. Okay? So Harry, Sammy, do you want to demonstrate some of the other colours? Oops, taking it a little bit more. There you go. Hey. Whoa! Whoa, there we go. Very satisfying, for messy fun. Whoa! Um, okay, and uh, we're practicing all our different colours at the same time as well. Okay, now Harry's going to demonstrate the same thing. Obviously for older children, okay, you can actually do some map making with this activity. Harry's got a set of really um, basic watercolour paints that we had in an art set, okay, and he's just going to do some rainbow marks, okay. Again, it's really good for practicing um, your um, colour mixing as well and your mark making. Okay, can I just ask you to come to this side a little bit now, sweetie pie? Thank you very much. Um, if you haven't got spray bottles and you still want to use food colouring, just mix a little bit up with water and you can paint it on with brushes or you could use straws to dab it on, whatever you've got. So we can see Harry doing some rainbow marks there. That's all over my... Yeah, well, it's messy, isn't it? That's the idea. We'll just watch Harry do his rainbow a little bit. There we go. There we go. So Harry's practicing his rainbow marks as well. All right. Okay. I'm going to try some more green now. So what do you think of this activity, Sammy? Do you like this activity? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you come Sorry. out of the way. 
I think we'll leave that there for now, shall we, sweetheart? You can do some more a bit later on. I think we've got a feeling we might be doing this activity in the garden later as well today. Okay? Well done, guys. We'll just move this one out of the way. Carry. Now, we've got one more mat making activity that you can easily do to show you. Okay, and um, these will be good because if you haven't already got rainbows on your window or you would like some new rainbows for your window, this is a really simple rainbow activity that also develops mat making skills. So we've just got paper plates cut in half. Again, if you haven't got any paper plates in, just use a piece of card um, and cut it into the arc shape. Okay, now on this one, I've drawn some lines to guide them. So if you've got young children, you might well want to just draw some guidelines on. If you've got older ones, they can do it themselves just on a plain one. Okay, now again, you can do this with felt tips, crayons, you can paint them, whatever, whatever you've got at home you want to use. And all we do, do you want to get some colours, boys? Yeah. Yep. So first I'm going to... I'll get them to do them and then hold them up. And basically, you're just you're doing your marks and following the lines of the rainbow. Get those archy marks in. Okay. Yeah, just do some because that's it. Good boy. Hold it up, Harry, and show what you've been doing so far. Yeah? Have you got the idea? So we're starting to get those rainbow marks. Do you want to hold yours up, Sam, and show what you've done so far? It's good for remembering It is. It's good for remembering your rainbow colours as well, isn't it? Yeah? Do you want to help me hold Sammy's up? So there we go. It's great if you've got if you have got anything like paint sticks, they're really satisfying on these as well. Okay, so I think I'm going to lay these guys um, colouring in um, and just tell you a little bit about um, next week because we're going to be on slightly earlier next week because I'm actually doing a Little Learners, little learners UK broadcast. So it's going to be at 10am and it's going to be via Facebook Live next week. Um, and because it's Easter, we're gonna, we've got some ice and sugar painting we're going to show next week and some egg decorating ideas to get um, get some Easter crafts in. So if you do want to join us next week, it'll be 10 a.m. and it'll be via our Facebook page, which is um, Leeds Little Learners. Okay, so tune in there at 10 a.m. and hopefully we'll have some people from different parts of the country joining us as well. If you are enjoying them, Little Learners UK do have a, mo a session every morning at 10 a.m. It'll be on a different um, person's Facebook page, but if you... Um, if you follow Little Learners UK or uh, my own page, um, you will you'll get updates and notifications about them, and I release a timetable every week as well. Okay, but I think we're going to leave you there for today. Do you yeah. want to show your rainbows where you've got up to, boys? There we go. We've got some of our colours coming on. A nice little easy mark making activity you can do, and I'd say it'd be nice to pick, pin them on your windows for the rainbow trail as well. Right, so thank you ever so much for joining us. We've enjoyed having you with us again. Yeah. And we will see you next week, what we're going to say to everybody, but boys. Stay safe, stay home. Yeah, come on then, say properly. You ready? Stay, stay safe, stay, stay home. home. Bye. Bye, we'll see you all next week. See Bye. See you next week. <laughs>